Every night, 4,700 people are forced to sleep rough on the streets in England because they do not have access to a shelter or home to stay in. What makes this number even worse is that it has more than doubled since 2010. So let's say you're walking home one night and you come across someone who is rough sleeping. You would like to help them, but maybe you don't have any food or cash on hand, or you're not sure what they need in this situation. Our partner Homeless Link has a solution and all it takes is your mobile phone. So Homeless Link is a charity membership organization working to end homelessness in England and Wales. One way they are working to do this is through their platform called StreetLink. StreetLink can be accessed through a mobile phone, through a website, and through a landline. And members of the public, as well as rough sleepers themselves, can create an alert about someone who is rough sleeping, with the goal being that a local service provider is able to locate that rough sleeper and provide them with any necessary assistance, such as taking them to a shelter. So let's say you created an alert on that rough sleeper that you saw. On that alert, you would put information such as the gender, the age group, a description about what they were wearing, as well as where they are located. That location information was used to create the plot behind me, which shows where all 280,000 alerts that have been created at StreetLink originated. What would happen next is a volunteer staff member at StreetLink would then review your alert to see if there's enough information to where if they sent out a local service provider, they think they could find that rough sleeper. If it meets that criteria, they turn it into what is called a referral. And a referral is actually what is sent to the local outreach team and is used to try to find that rough sleeper. Ultimately, a person is either found or not found. So you can see how not every alert turns into a referral and not every referral ends in that person being found. And that brings us to the problem that we worked on this summer. So of the 280,000 alerts that StreetLink has received, only 14% of those have resulted in that person being found. And part of the reason for this problem is that manual review process that StreetLink volunteers and staff members have to go through in order to assess the quality of each alert before turning it into a referral. This is especially difficult during the winter months or during a storm where StreetLink can receive over 1,000 alerts in a given a day. And they don't have any way of prioritizing these alerts or knowing which one should be turned into referral without manually digging into each one. By the time they get to a high quality alert at the bottom of the list, it might have been created days ago and that rough sleeper is no longer there. So the way that we worked on solving this problem was we worked with Homeless Link and we shadowed StreetLink volunteers so that we understood their process and we used the information on these alerts, again including the data such as the gender, the descriptions about their appearance and location, and we built a model that would generate a prioritized list of alerts based on the likelihood that that rough sleeper would be found. <coughs> this way, the highest quality alerts are at the very top of the list and can quickly be turned into referrals by the StreetLink team. We created a solution that was efficient, effective, and equitable. So when our model is used to push out the same number of referrals as StreetLink's current process, it leads to an increase in 18% in the person found rate. By having a prioritized list of alerts for StreetLink to review, high quality alerts can more quickly be turned into referrals, keeping that information more up to date, potentially leading to more rest sleepers being found. This also frees up valuable resource time at the StreetLink office that can be used to look at referrals across demographics as well as locations previously not explored in order to challenge any existing biases in StreetLink's current process, making our solution more equitable. We believe that our project will have an impact both on an individual ref sleeper level as well as the ref sleeper population as a whole. By better connecting ref sleepers to local service providers, we can minimize the amount of time that someone spends in the vulnerable position of having to sleep on the street. In addition, the data analysis we can give Homeless Link can be used in their yearly conversations with the UK government in order to impact positive policy change to reduce the problem of ref sleeping in England. Thank you very much. My name is Zoe, and this summer I got to work with Lucia, Austin, Harry, uh, Josh, and Adolfo, and we really enjoyed our time here and are really excited to talk more about with you after. Thank you.